Okay, Jensen, I've just kind of finished one dough up here for you. Uh, okay, go ahead and create a pizza for us on the spot. Uh, now, this pizza um, is using some some of the same components that I use on my lamb dish in the restaurant. Great. Um, I do I use a Colorado lamb loin, and um, the saute that we put underneath it has uh, these component ingredients. Uh, we just have some some Laura Chanel Chev. Um, I think it also it's a goat cheese. Okay. It'd also be really good with feta. I think okay. would be appropriate for this. But the chef is milder than the feta. Yeah, a little okay. bit milder. Right. milder. It's going to have the, the flavors of like a, a the gyro pizza. From. Okay, exactly. all right, let's exactly. go for it. Cheese first. And again, this is the uh, French chev or a fresh goat cheese, but you could use any kind of a moist cheese under this. And then eggplant. And this eggplant's already cooked? Yeah, we just sauteed it really quick. And it's actually, it's uh, marinated in, marinating in a little bit of um, salt and pepper and, and olive oil. Let's do some sun gold tomatoes. All right. These are great tomatoes, and they're nice and sweet. Yeah, they're really sweet. It's, it's, it's a great uh, seasonal varietal. So another Central Coast yeah. uh, farm. Exactly. All right. Uh, and else? then let's let's do the, the lamb. lamb. Okay, I've got a couple yeah. pieces here. It's called merguez, yeah. And this is, I mean, it's just a a sausage without a casing. You know, all the the fat from the from the lamb and the seasoning just starts coming out. I um, mean, it, it actually does a lot to flavor the dish. Nice. All right. Anything else going on at this point? I think we're good for now. We're going to okay. save the rita for so the, when, it, when it comes and, out. And the rita, which um, is a cucumber sauce. Yeah, it's cucumber, yogurt, um, decent amount of garlic, shallots, uh, cilantro, parsley, and mint. Okay. All right. I'm going to pass this to you now. Okay. Let you put it in. You're getting to be a real expert in driving your own oven here. There it goes. All right. You got it to release. Yeah. It's in close to the fire. We've got our pizza cooking. It's starting to puff up. Again, we're, we know now from having baked in here that it, we're taking three and a half to four and a half minutes right. for these pizzas. There's our caramelization. Right. We can see the caramelization on the outside here. Right. So we'll go back here. Yeah. This one's baking. I think we're actually a little hotter now, so it's baking faster, which okay. is good. And it's still got a, another minute, minute and a half to go, so we're going to get some more crispness on that lamb. Yeah, I love the color on that edge now. Yeah, that's the, uh, like you can see that like where it's, where it's starting to caramelize there, you see the the fat or the, the seasonings rendering out of the lamb. Yeah, yeah, starting, starting to, get to that ooze out color. there and, and flavors the dough. Yeah. Like olive oil would do go. the same thing, yeah. yeah. I'm having fun with your oven. I guess I'm gonna have to come back and Me keep too. playing with it. Can I, can I drive your car, man? Yeah, anytime. Give it one more turn. All right, we're gonna go up for maybe 20 seconds, okay. finish it up. All right, look at that beautiful yeah. color on there. Rich caramelization, a little bit of char, but not too much. Time for your finishing touches on that. This stuff's pretty strong. But again, notice how, like, as you put different colors on there, like this sauce, how it creates contrast, and the contrast kind of causes it to, to pop visually. It's just a little bit of mint. Nice. Lost half of it. There it is, just the right touch of green, yeah. beautiful. Like we created a, a, a pizza that's in the style of a, of a, a taco. taco. Euro and <laughs> and now, so pretty much, it, what's that telling me is, is that you can take your favorite foods and do a pizza version of them. Let's give it a shot, huh? Yeah. Again, the, the spice is holding up killer. pretty good. I mean, it, you know, this is for a short bake. Like this is only it was only about a four minute bake. Yeah. We've got a nice crisp crust. Because the mint's right on top, of the, that kind of sets the, the tone, and then everything else kind of follows. Would you? Is this the kind of thing that we, where maybe some garlic would be good? Yeah, so we have maybe, the garlic oil. You want to try it? Oh, there we go. All right. Mm. That's a good touch. Yeah. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it brought more flavor out. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah, it's been a pleasure cooking with you. Thank you for letting me do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And thank you for letting me play with your oven. Mm -hmm.